going to go back to Luke's gospel today for a short question. Listen carefully. What is your name in Luke 8.30? Now, Jesus asked a demon that he was confronting for its name. He wanted to know what he was dealing with, or probably more likely wanted his disciples to know. Now, there are some situations in which your opposition is spiritual, and it would be good for you to know exactly who your opponent is so you can pray accurately. Now, is there some situation that harasses you and represents less than God's best? Have you been focusing on the circumstances and the personalities and not the underlying spiritual motivations? Are you using your authority as a believer to confront and expel that spiritual opposition? Now it's time to read 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 through 6, where it says, By the humility and gentleness of Christ I appeal to you, I, Paul, who am timid when face to face with you, but bold toward you when away. I beg you that when I come I may not have to be as bold as I expect to be toward some people who think that we live by the standards of this world. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. And we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete. Now that we've read those verses, I want to recommend that you ask the Lord to show you the name of the spiritual entity that you are facing, your opponents, and then take appropriate action in the name of Jesus. Can you do that? I know you can. And while you're working on that, we're going to get ready to do this again tomorrow. We trust we'll see you then. So long.